Hey guys, uh, Anthony here from the Cultural Hub. Uh, we are a website, if you haven't known this already, a website part of the Fresh Press uh, UK. Uh, what we do here is we strive to help young writers uh, in football to, uh, to get their foot into the door and to explore that even though you may be younger, the, 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 the more experience you get, the, the easier it will be in the future when you want to cover the sport that you love and it's soccer or football. If you if you call it that, uh, um, what I wanted to do here is with something new to our channel is that uh, we're we have a YouTube channel now. If you haven't already know this, but what we're doing on this channel is that we're gonna step aside from doing uh, like pre like uh, talking about um, how teams are doing, like doing daily, like doing the uh, weekly or daily, uh, um, doing weekly or daily uh, conversations about. about uh take that out so we're doing what well, what we're doing on this channel is that uh we're going to do something different we are going to be playing football manager 2015 and uh I know that people uh part of the fresh press um really do like football manager uh some most some people on on part of the network they like playing it they enjoy it uh they talk about it with each other and what I'm doing here is that we're going to incorporate Football Manager and what the Culture Hub is about, and that's about Syria. Uh, and what the Culture Hub strives to do is, is to deliver English news to to s Italian soccer fans, even though e even though you may not understand Italian, but you still love the league and you love the and you love the teams in it. You go to the Culture Hub and you learn all about it. And what we're going to do here is uh, do a simulation of. Of a team where, if you already read, you can see on the on the on the screen, we are gonna run the Parma FC. And if you haven't been catching up with your city uh, news, you notice that Parma isn't doing that good. I believe ten eleven points, uh, in the re in the relegation zone, um, have been there are two games behind the rest of the league, uh, forcing game games have been postponed. Uh, players have not been paid since last July. Um, a bunch of things. Owners have been leaving. It's been a carousel of owners. The team has been sold for a combined two euros in the in the last few months, and I don't mean two million euros. I mean actually two euros. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is talk about uh P Parma and let's see if we can run them. To a more successful, they are they are bound to be in Serie B next year if they if they can find a new owner before the end of the season. Um, but what we're gonna do here is run the team, but a little bit differently. We're gonna try to fix that problem. So what we're gonna do here is there's some guidelines. I'll I'll explain the I'll show the guidelines on our website theculturehub.com. I'll list I'll put a link in the bot in the in the description below you can see it check out the site uh, but what, what I'm going to do here is so we're Parma as you can see we are going to do something a little bit different as you can see Parma is a team that just loans like this this list I'm showing you right now is people who are loaned out from Parma Parma has been known as a team that just lo buys players and loans them out and tries to bring it tries to increase their value and if they increase their value hey they made a profit but if they decrease their value then they just lost money and it seems it seems like a good idea in a way but the only way it's a good thing is if the player is actually going to turn out to be a good prospect but it has as you can see all these players have been loaned out from parma the people the players in red and the green players have been loaned to parma uh as you can see Silvestri varela from porto Francesco Lodi from Catania, Christian Rodriguez, who left the team recently to go to Brazil. Uh, he's here, but he's gone. And Antonio Nocerino from Milan has joined the team. And I believe there's more in the bottom, more young players. So that's what Parma does. So let's just go on with our personal message from our owner. That's not really the owner. Well, let's just let's just start this meeting. There we go. Okay, hi Anthony, welcome to Karate. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to welcome to the club before handing over to your assistant manager who's going to discuss responsibilities with you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna say great. Let's get this meeting started. I'm getting. I'm really looking forward to working with this club and achieving big things. I also appreciate you taking the time out. You're busy scheduled to welcome me in person. Well, actually, this is Manetti. Oh yeah, this is the man. This is the owner now. So Parma FC are obviously a club with a lot of history. That is true. The team has in the 1990s been a tremendous club. They they were actually the top Italian, pretty much the top Italian team in the ninety in the mid nineties, and now they are here. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. I like to learn, I love to learn more about the club. I always just say that. Uh, the club feels that our minimum expectation for the season to finish in a comfortable mid table position. Well, let's try not to get relegated as they are right now. Uh, so they're giving me a wage budget of five hundred and seventy five k per week. Which isn't bad for a mid-table team in Serie A, not bad. And a transfer budget of $5.25 million. Again, not that bad. Uh, let's just see if... Uh, so I'm going to have to see it. Yeah, great. Those expectations are exact. I'm not going to piss them off and say, no, I don't agree with that. Um, as you mentioned in your welcome message, the club has no philosophies, which have been judged during your time. And if you're new to the football manager, there's these, and especially... Um, if you're new to football manager, what they do, these these philosophies you can come up with, you can you can basically tell the board what you believe. Like, do you want to sign first team players? Do you want to sign uh, more young players? Do you want to sign more foreign players? Do you want to sign more players from the from the same country the leagues in, and the and if you and you'll be based on those. So if you if you uh, finish, let's say, just re just above the relegation zone, and you're a mid table team. But you succeeded in bringing young players, and you succeeded in bringing uh, in players from the same nation. You won't you won't be fired. You won't you will be you be you be treated easier. I'm gonna say I don't feel actually. You know what? I'm gonna say I have, I'm gonna say I have some philosophies because uh, that's what you're gonna find out soon. What we're gonna try to do in this challenge. Uh, it's, a, it's a traditional to hold a press conference. And okay, I'll say yes. Uh, thanks for answering my questions. Okay, thanks for answering that. Okay, thanks for the introduction. I've talked to the assistant manager. Hi, my name is Luca Gotti. You're assistant manager. I've got some questions to ask you. Okay, that sounds good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say no. It takes a lot of time. Okay, I won't schedule in. in good and friendly. I've also written a report for you. I'm going to say yes, please. Uh, yeah, uh, no, usually when you talk to the backroom staff in the beginning, they just tell you who should be captain, who should be this, and who should be that. It's good if you, if, if you just want to start off like this, but in this challenge, it's going to, team is changing a lot, so there's no point in telling me who's going to be the captain that these players are leaving. Uh, I can provide you with regular reports with the input. I'm going to say yes. Good idea. Fortnightly basis. Uh, I'm going to do, oh, always when I see this screen, I've done this so many times, I'm going to say, can you tell me about, can you tell about how you can assist with my friendlies? Friendlies take so much time, especially when you're just trying to just move on to the beginning of the season. So I'm just going to say, can you just move on and uh, can you just take care of this all? Like, I'll just set, set up tactics and you just take, you control it. Okay, that concludes this meeting. Okay. So as you can see, Parma, usually when you start with a team, they give you a background. The club enjoyed probably the best buzz of success, of success during the 1990s, although now enduring a 12-year barren spell, having not won a competition since 2002. Crocatia still have a his still I'm butchering their names. I'm so sorry if I butcher names in the future. Still have a history of which they can just be which they can be justly proud. As you can see, they won the Euro, Euro European Cup Winners' Cup. Uh, and they won the Euro Cup twice, and they won the European Super Cup, and they won the Serie A uh, C1, which is the city, which is the third tier in 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 in, in Italy. Expectations. So that's just what you could do. Obviously, uh, you can set expectations. So if you, um, you tell the you tell the board what you want. So if you think you can finish in Europe European qualification, then they'll give you more money. If you believe you finish in the mid table, they'll give you less money. So I'm gonna say the least because I'm kind of also makes it a little bit difficult. This team's already not having enough money, so why give me more money? Oh, confirm. Okay. 
So let's just take this with the according to our assistant manager. So Vesri Varela is the best player on the team. Uh so let's just look at the team report here. As you can see, uh our best goalie is Antonio Maranti. Uh he which is pretty true. I think he's a Uh, he's a 31-year-old uh, goalkeeper, valued at 4.4 million. Not bad, not bad. Oops. Uh, then we have Mattia Cassani uh, as our best right back, Massimo Gobi as our best left back, and, Asan and As Alessandro Lucarelli, who is the 36-year-old who's pretty much taking charge of this team ever since the ownership. He's been the pol he's been the guy. He's like the head. He runs the team. Base. I think he would run the team. He just he answers all the questions. People talk to him. The the, uh, the whole team comes to him for suggestions. He is the captain. He's the wise. He's the wiser player of the team. And our second best would be Andrea Costa. And you have Cassani as our wing backs. Uh -huh. And as our DM here, Francesco Lodi, the the lone the lone e. We have Andy Lila who scored a who scored the the lone goal in Inter and Parma's one one draw this past weekend. And uh, we have another uh, former interperson, uh, McDonald Marica, who used to pl who used to, who's been on and off between Inter and Parma, loaning from Inter. And you have Biabiani, Biabiani if you're fans of FIFA here, the pacey uh, winger, he's on this team. And you have Ronaldo Venin and Varela. There you go. Our best left mid seems to be Massimo Gobi, and then Daniela Galopa Galopapa. Galopa. Then uh, the best center mid we have here is Antonio Nocerino. Again, the loney for Milan. Uh, then our best attacking would be Varela. Then uh, Raffaele Palladino. And then Cristobal Giorcarrera. Giorcarrera. I'm going to butcher that. Where is he from? From Chile. And our best for a striker seems to be Isaac Belafoldil. Which is actually not, which is actually not bad. He's actually a very good player. He's very young, twenty two year twenty two years old, uh, from Algeria, former Inter player, and uh, now that's what we have. So this is our these are the best players we have. These are so the best the players who are first look at looks to be our starting eleven, but that's all going to change soon. Uh, and we have our scaling team, so they're trying. See Chris Rodriguez, who is on par, who is on Grimero in uh, the Brazilian league. I'm not gonna get him. So now let's look at the squad. This is the squad as you, as you can see here. Uh, value. So Bebiani is the player that's worth the most. Now, as you can see, we have we have we quite we have a quite a few players who are worth at least more than a million dollars here. But if you take a look here. You can look at the contracts and look at how much these players are making. So the player that was making uh, getting paid the most is our goalie Maranti, and then Bia Biani, and then Nocerino. So uh, what I'm trying to do here is let's break, cut it down. The players who are making more than eleven thousand dollars a week are gone. So players who are making more than eleven thousand dollars. Yes, that means we're going to lose Maranti and Biabiani and Belfield deal, uh, excepting Lucarelli because we're going to keep him as the only old 30, 30 plus year old player on the team, and that means all these young players and the players we're going to be scouting are going to be the players who are going to run, who are going to be on the team. So I have to meet the players. Let's hold a team meeting. Uh, so we're talking to the whole team now. This is usually what you'd start off in football manager. You just talk to the team. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say calmly. I'm gonna say passionately. I know that many of you have not heard of me, so I wanted to personally introduce myself to you as the new Parma manager. Everyone seems to be happy. I look and even Lucarelli. There you go, Lucarelli. I look forward to working with a lesser known manager who can bring new ideas into the side. I am very positive about our chances, and I think we can qualify the Euro Euro, Euro Cup this season. Eh, I'm gonna say. I think we can finish a respectable position this season. Nah, a lot of people are... 17 players are not happy. Look, Relly is I'm delighted that we share the same level of ambition. We can get a respectable finish this season for sure. 
But Massimo Gobi is not happy, saying, I don't think finishing in a respectable position is really a realistic target for this season. 17 players seem to agree with him. They think it's too ambitious. 17 players think that's too much. I'm going to say I disagree. I think we can achieve what I said everyone, if everyone performs at their best. Okay. More players are, are agreeing with it. Pedro Mendez, maybe you are right and those expect, expectations are fine. But Golby is still... I still think you're being unrealistic about what we can achieve this season. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I have to say I'm disappointed. If you say that, everyone's going to get upset. So I'm just going to say that's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. I'm going to go paying attention to only the positives. So all people in the green, their morale went up. Uh, people in the black obviously just didn't, did not change. The people in the red, so Ferraldi, uh, Tiam, and Carlos Garcia, they went down since that talk. Which is normal. You're going to get that sometimes. So what we are trying to do here is that you you'll get these offers sometimes uh, for young for players that are, who are from. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna explain the I'm gonna explain what I want in this challenge. Uh, mostly we're gonna focus on. So I'm gonna mention again. Players who are making more than eleven thousand dollars a week, they will not be on the team. This team is already stricken with cash. With is already we we don't have that much money, so we have to really we have to hold on. We have to make a profit because this team has not made a profit. This team has not been paying has not been paying uh players for almost a year now, and uh, actually this time last year. July 13th, July 14th, 2014. Players are starting not to get paid here. So let, let's change all that. And what we're going to do here is start paying the players, obviously. And um, and we are just going to... And we're going to give more younger players an opportunity. So uh, players who... Um, we're mostly going to be looking at players who are under the age of 23. So we're going to look at... So the only exception here is Lucarelli because he is just so important to the team. He's he's more he's he's a very important player, and I'm looking to maybe even having him on my coaching staff next season if he decides to retire. But uh, what I wanted to do is that we're gonna make this team an under U twenty three team, um, and we're mostly gonna have one nation, and they're mostly gonna be Italians. So we're gonna have a young Italian team. Um, to bring into the first team, um, uh, the Italian national team hasn't, it really hasn't been the same since 2006 when they won the World Cup, um, but they have some exciting prospects um, so far, uh, players like Ver uh, Verratti on PSG, um, you have, uh, well now you have Franco Vasquez who's Argentinian but decided to play for Italy, uh, he's young, um, you have Zaza, you have Berardi, on, both on Sassuolo, um, you have, um, you have Perrine, the goalie on Genoa, you have, uh, Ogbon, not Ogbon is getting older, but you have, um, have, uh, Rugani, uh, Rugani on, um, on Empoli, he's, uh, he's young there and he's, um, starting to become a, a nice player for Empoli and joining Juventus in, uh, in the summer. Um, another player, there's all these players they're gaining more experience, and that's the only way how players grow in this league. Uh, so giving them more experience does help them. Okay, guys, so that's the end of the video here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that the links below uh, are for our channel, are for our Twitter page, and there will be a link to our um, to the challenge specifically on our channel, so you get to see more in-depth about it. Um, make sure to, to visit thecouturehub.com. Uh, let us know how we're doing in the comments below. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would mean a lot to us. And remember that uh, if you want your city on news in English, please visit uh, thecaltrohub.com. We will do our be very best to show you that even though you may not live in Italy, you can still love this league. It's very interesting. It's very uh, amusing. The league, the players, the teams are very good. And... Uh, Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, 
Let us know below. And again, please visit thecultureralhub.com. Thank you.